Sure, they have dainty features and a delicate gait, but don't mistake this breed for weaklings. Their kind has been around since before Abraham and Moses. It's even been said that the word dog in the Bible always referred to a Saluki, and the Egyptian pharaohs revered this canine wonder. The Persian breed's powers are disguised behind a gentle frame. Built like a greyhound, but with feathered ears, tail, and legs, their build is both muscular and statuesque. No one has grown to appreciate them more than Joseph Minor and Robert Place. Today, their seven Salukis are free coursing or running loose. And it prepares the dogs for the actual open field coursing that we do in competition. These dogs can course for two to three miles. It's not unusual for them because they are endurance runners and they can average over a long course of two to three miles, they can average 30 miles per hour. They are thin dogs, so they're pretty aerodynamic. They have a very deep chest that allows plenty of oxygen and a large heart for the endurance running that they need to do. Like all sight hounds, Salukis chase anything that moves. That includes cars. Such habits create serious hazards for the breed. Their instinct to hunt is just as real in the city. Yes, do you watch me? Leash laws are critical to critter chasing canines and dogs that become skittish. Salukis can live comfortably in a city setting. All can scale a six foot fence with ease, so secure your backyard. And inside, be ready to turn the home over to the benevolent dictatorship of a breed used to being held in high regard. They're very much need to be with people, they very much need to be with their people. It's been said the Saluki has a classic far off look. To see eye to eye with this breed of the barren Middle East, make sure your likes and dislikes are not far off from the Salukis. For health, four treats. This breed remains rugged and fit thanks to the terrain its ancestors had to conquer. Only one concern, it's very sensitive to anesthesia. Three treats for companionship. Despite its aloof attitude, the Saluki wants even requires a close family. The breed's distant demeanor makes training a Saluki a time-intensive task. One treat for trainability. Two treats for upkeep. This breed needs to run. For endurance, four treats. The Saluki has remarkable stamina, and it may come the closest to an immortal breed, with family roots dating back to at least 7,000 B.C. The Saluki's antiquity and ongoing fortitude make it a breed apart from all others.